Hi guys and ladies, I tried catching fish for you, not only from Lake Catch a Big One, but from a little pond as you'll see. Well, I failed. But I've been looking forward to a weekend off from eating fish anyway. I'm ready for pizza. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. I've been striking out consistently inside this shelter this year, but I know a pond where there might be some open water and it might be clear. Let's give it a shot. Oh no, the little pond has ice on it too. Oh, looky here. I found a little bit of open water where the aerator is. I have a screw loose. I need to lose a few pounds, so let's see if we can make a low carb pizza that rivals real pizzeria pizza. And how about if we start off with everyone's favorite toppings, peas and mayonnaise. Oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's go with my favorites, and I hope they're yours too, pepperoni and sausage. I've got here one pound of hot Italian sausage, and I, I need to get it out of the casing. Ah, it's coming. No. You want to chunk this up, but you don't want a finely ground sausage because you want to taste it on the pizza. So just little chunks will do. We got this just where we want it now. Let's put it aside. So we finished our sausage, and now it's time for our pepperoni. I like it a little thicker than those slices that come in the supermarket. Now it's time to make the sauce. Here goes a quarter teaspoon of salt, and now some ground pepper. Here I've got a heaping tablespoon of pecorino romano. I just love to say that. Here goes a teaspoon of garlic powder. And now, a half teaspoon of oregano. Let's stir it all up and then I'll just put it aside. This is the whole key of this low carb recipe. It's the dough. And I'm gonna start off with two cups of shredded mozzarella. You have to say it like that, mozzarella. Otherwise, you'll ruin the recipe. Let's get that in a bowl. I'm stirring up two large eggs. I used to say eggs, but a famous food critic got on me about that. Eggs, eggs. Let's get them in there. Now I've got two heaping tablespoons of golden flaxseed meal. Let's get that in there. Now two heaping tablespoons of coconut flour. It would probably work with almond flour. I don't know. This is just over a half teaspoon of baking powder, not a baking soda, baking powder. This is a half teaspoon of garlic powder. I did this recipe two years ago and I used a fork to start. Let's, let's do the same. Now I'm going after this with wet hands. Let's see. <laughs> Look at this. It looks like pizza dough. It should work. My hands are still wet and I've got a pizza tray here, see? And I've got parchment paper on it. And all I'm gonna do uh, is spread it out. Let's see. Spread this baby. The edges are terrible. You have to repair the edges. I'll be done with this on Thursday. Every kitchen needs this. It's 12 inches. I got this thing about right. That's where I want it, 12 inches. Now I'm going to form edges all along, you know, like real pizza. Look how nice this looks. People make pizza crust with cauliflower. I can't imagine that it would be as good as this, I hope. 
let's preheat the oven to just 350. I know that sounds low for a pizza, but that's what the recipe says, 350. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 15 minutes, then take it out and flip it over. Look, I've got a second pizza pan and I've lined it with non-stick foil. I have an idea here. Let's get our pizza out. It's been over 15 minutes. Aha. It looks good the way I expected. I'm going to do the flipping. How do I get this off? Let's peel away the parchment. I know it's upside down. I'm going to put this back in the oven for another 15 minutes exactly. Let's see. It's been 15 minutes. This is what I expected. Yes, it's darker than regular pizza. Don't worry. Remember the sauce? Now I've got six cheeses here mixed together. You know those packages that come with six cheeses? Asiago, provolone, mozzarella, uh, fantina. It's all good. Let's get that on there. I decided to go back to the non-stick foil underneath because, you know, cheese and everything, it's messy. So let's put on our pepperoni. Pepperoni, you have to say it like pepperoni, pepperoni. Now, onto the sausage. I love my sausage. I couldn't even fit the whole pound of sausage on there. This is about three quarters of a pound. Let's turn the broiler on. You'll see why. Now I'm going to kind of glue our ingredients down with another little layer of shredded pizza cheese. The last of our cheese. Now we'll just pop it in the broiler to melt the cheese for two and a half minutes. I might as well let you all know, while our pizza is under the broiler, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, whose heart I've been trying to win for decades, is on her way over for dinner here tonight. Although she told me earlier this week that she had a dream that I gave her a, a diamond necklace. She asked me what I thought of the dream. Well, I'm not sure what to say. You know, I'm very, very poor. Maybe I can come up with something. Two and a half minutes later. Ooh, it's a little burned on the edges. I don't know. The, the middle looks so good though, let's see. Before she gets here, let me do a quick taste test. Look, this is highly pick upable. Where do you get crust like this, but from a real pizza? Let's see. Mmm. This is so, so good. Maybe it's a little denser. Just a little denser than regular pizza crust, but oh, I don't know about that. It's really, really just like pizzeria pizza. You'll love this. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and thank you so much for dining with me here at my rickety, uh, wretched ranch. And you had a chance to consume my Delete the Wheat pizza and I've been dying to find out what you think of it. It was very good. I thought the crust was appropriately crispy on the edges yes, and the meat It wasn't was, burnt, was it? No, and the meat was very filling and the tomatoes were very fresh and it was a very nice combination. Thank, Thank you. you. Did it have enough meat on it? Oh, <laughs> more than enough. Lots and lots of meat. Yeah, a little much. A lot of meat. <laughs> it was not delete the meat. It was just delete the wheat. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It yeah. rhymes. <laughs> Miss Cheeks, do you remember? Uh, oh, I can say Lulu yes, now. Yes, yes. Do you remember how you asked me what I thought your dream meant the other night when, when uh, I gave you the diamond necklace? Yes, what do you suppose it meant? Well, <clears throat> I have a gift for you. Oh, goodness, you're kidding. How nice. <laughs> Let me go get it. Here you go. Yeah, it's a book. The Meaning of Dreams? Uh, <clears throat> can I have a hug? Your dream uh, the other night where you gave me uh, a diamond necklace? Where I gave you a diamond necklace. <laughs>